Hello. I am going to demonstrate how I make my lettuce wraps. These are like the P.F. Chang's lettuce wraps. So um, the recipe I shared with Patreon members in May. It says to put in like one tablespoon, but I always do a little extra. So this is olive oil, um, tablespoon, a little bit more of olive oil. So now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sesame oil. All right, so those are my oils. I'm heating the skillet up right now. So that should get to about medium heat. Okay, so my, my skillet is um, about medium hot or not. A little bit of sizzle there. I'm not used to the stove, it's my mother's. So. I don't know how long it takes it to heat up, but I'm just gonna, this is a pound of ground turkey. You can use ground chicken. Um, I kind of think at the restaurant, at P.F. Chang's, they use chicken, but I've made them with the ground turkey mostly. So uh, what I'm gonna demonstrate at this part of the recipe is the Pamper Chef mix and chop. And actually, Ray actually used this first. Um, when it came, he was making spaghetti or something and uh, he used it on Italian sausage and he loved it. So well, he doesn't get into gadgets like I do. So basically though, you're just gonna just go in, just slide it across. It's non-stick, so you don't have to worry about your non-stick pans. And as, it, as the meat cooks a little bit more, you'll, it'll break up into really nice uniform pieces. So you don't have the big chunks and the little chunks like you would if you just use a spoon like I used to do. Okay, so it's been cooking here for a couple of minutes. I'm just going to give it another good breaking up. You can see it's about a half and half now. It's just going to be done. The meat out of here. And just because I'm a stickler for not having raw meat contaminating anything, I'll probably wash this before it gets done and then do the last mix and chop just to make sure I haven't got any raw meat in there on the mix and chop. So we'll let that continue a little bit and we're going to work on our sauce. Got my cheat sheet here with my ingredients, what I need. My first ingredient is, it's either hoisin or hoisin. I'm not sure how to say it, but third of a cup if you're doing a stovetop version, which we are today. If I were gonna put it in my um, Instant Pot, I would probably just do a quarter cup. You can go with less, but um, I've found it's just as easy to make it on the stove and it doesn't really taste any different. So, so I would say just, just do that. So we're gonna put all these ingredients in a bowl to be ready once it's ready to add to our meat mixture. Okay, so I'm going to do two tablespoons of liquid amino. One's already in there, and there's the second one. One tablespoon of um, rice vinegar. I've used regular, uh, and, and I've used the seasoned, and uh, I can't tell the difference. And you need a tablespoon of uh, sweet chili sauce. I got this at Walmart and I, I've also bought a an Asian sweet chili ch chili sauce at Meijer. So it might be in your Asian section if you're shopping in stores still. I just order it online. I also will be using this as a finishing um, sauce. I'm going to use one teaspoon this is a tablespoon, I know. I'm just going to eyeball it because I want to keep my teaspoon dry. A teaspoon of sesame oil, which we also have in our meat. And one 
teaspoon of ground ginger. You can use fresh ginger if you have it. Okay, and if you use fresh ginger, you're gonna want to put two teaspoons of fresh ginger. Minced, you can use your garlic press to mince ginger as well as garlic. Okay, so this is not a Pampered Chef whisk because I don't have one, but um, just whisk it up a little bit. And all, all the ground ginger dissolved. Okay, now we'll just let that sit there for a second and we're going to go back over to our ground meat. No. Okay, I've washed my mix and chop to make sure I don't have any raw meat left on it. And now I'm just going to go back over it one more time here. It looks like everything's nice and brown. And it's not, it was, it was lean. There's not a lot of fat. I'm gonna, there's nothing really to pour off. So what I'm going to do is just take a paper towel. So I just wipe it. It's not the Martha Stewart way, I'm sure, but I'm not Martha. All right. Then I think that's pretty good. This is going to be a little oil in the sauce anyway, so if there's a little oil there, no big deal. So next thing, I'm going to put in my onions. All right, and I need to get some fresh garlic, but for this, I'm just going to put in a teaspoon. Okay, so I've added a teaspoon of the minced garlic, and you can do fresh. You definitely should consider. And that was about a cup of um, yellow onion. Just, this is the mix part. We did the chop, and now we're doing the mix. So that gets everything nice and mixed up in there. Then I'm going to take my sauce. I'm just going to pour it over the meat. And it's going to cook for a couple of minutes. Maybe five, I'm not sure. I'll go look at the recipe in a minute. Cooking Adventures with Callie. Okay, so we're just going to just keep mixing it in together. Get all your sauce mixed up. And it can cook for several minutes on the stove. My, um, the recipe I have on Patreon, which I'll make public so everyone can see it with the pictures, has the Instant Pot version. So I'm just going to let that sit there uh, while I pull out the manual food processor that Pampered Chef has, and I'm going to work on the water chestnuts, which is a kind of a last ingredient because you want to keep that crunch. You don't want it to get cooked down. I've added uh, chopped water chestnuts, and I get these at Walmart too. You can get them anywhere. Just they're sliced when you buy them, eight ounces. Um, you just put them in your either your manual food processor, your electric food processor, and then you're just going to stir it all in. And I know this is not a nonstick spoon, but I don't think my mother has any. But what's nice about the water chestnuts is it gives it a nice crunch, and that's about it. I'm just that's ready to go into the lettuce. You're supposed to use butter lettuce. I couldn't find butter lettuce yesterday, so and I've done I've done it with these iceberg lettuce. So I just take out the hard part in the middle, just make it into like pieces that could be wrapped. Let me just demonstrate one wrap here. I'm gonna just take the take the lettuce, take a little bit of my meat, which ready to go there and I use that sweet chili sauce just gonna 
drizzle a little over the top. And then you just kind of roll it up a little bit like a taco. And there you go.